Hi everyone, this is part three. Let's just have a recap. We took this lovely 1970s kind of fabric, we cut it into pieces, we added some other little squares, rectangles, and we put it on a piece of calico. And then we left gaps. And in between those gaps, we decided that we would take the print out. We're just doing um, intuitive stitching. See, there's stripes already in that, so we've added some more. And here we are, we're sort of continuing the pattern over into the gaps, adding some ste seed stitch in there to, um, you know, send that background back and allow those motifs to come forward. So we did quite a lot, um, but here we are, and that's where we finished. And um, we were talking in the end of the last video about maybe bringing in a few more little bits of that fabric, just as a, a little applique. So we cut out the actual shape or the shape that we wished, and then um, you know add it in. So you can see here, I've added in a little flower at the bottom there. And um, over to the left, or am I getting there soon, um, I've added in a lovely black flower because I loved the one that we did on the right there. And you can see there it is there above the orange. Now that's going to be quite tricky, but it's going to be really a lot of fun making that match in. The whole thing is to make this piece of cloth a whole piece of cloth and we fill in the gaps and we make it all blend in together. And so here we are. In the previous video I talked about the bits of uh, torn edge, you know, how it has those frayed edges and leaving them in there and couching them down. So this is where I'm starting now. I have that black flower from the fabric and I put it behind this frayed edge of this lovely orange silk and to make it fit in this is what I've decided to do. I am going to use that lovely frayed edge and I'm going to sew in some running stitch petals in orange the same sort of color and as I'm doing it I'm also trying to couch down a little bit of those threads just here and there so that they stay where we want them, you know, sprayed out like that on top of the black of the flower. So there we go. What I'm doing is actually bringing some of the orange up into the black. It's like blending it. You'll, you'll see in time where I also try and blend more of it in, in different ways. But this is the initial part where I'm thinking I wanted that frayed edge to stay there. And um, I want it to blend in. So stitching it down with the orange made sense. And doing those petal shapes, well, they're already there. So the fabric is telling me what it wants. Now I'm calling this intuitive stitch and it really is a very artistic kind of trait. We're sort of following whatever the fabric is telling us. So because there's a, a floral motif in here, a lot of the extra stitching we're doing is sort of flowers or petals or leaves or something sticking with that. So that worked. Leaving, I didn't want to trim those edges. I wanted uh, that frayed edge. But now I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, well, we've still got that area on the right of that block of orange. It really does need um, blending out into, into that blank space to the right. So I've turned it here, but you can see what I'm doing. I'm just continuing those orange running stitch petals there. Instead of being a, a, a straight edge there, we're making it, um, you know, just your eye is tricking you into thinking, oh, that orange continues out there. It's not quite a blunt edge as it looks. So it doesn't take much. 
So as I'm going back in here, I'm also looking at that white flower below the orange. And um, when we did the initial um, attaching of all of these squares, I did a, um, the initial stitching with a, a yellow colour and I put some petals in of that white flower. And um, yeah, there they are there. I'm showing you the outline. And I'm thinking, okay, well, I might keep those. I might just um, not go over those with orange. Continue the orange you know, with another layer outside of the first. I'm going out that way. And really, we're not trying to do a specific flower. We're just, it's our interpretation of a flower. I've picked up now a lovely white um, rayon kind of silk kind of thread, and I'm loving it. And where I showed you before that I had those white uh, petals going upwards, you know, the outline in the gold. I'm going over that with the white, just inside that line. And I'll now go back and just doing running stitch, just do a few more um, inside each other, those different lines of thread. And what I'm doing is instead of trying to bring the orange down into the black, like I did above, I'm going to bring the white up into the orange and it works so you know it's not it's not totally done but it's it's enough blending that your eyes will perceive that it could be you know, you're just sort of tricking your eye and with just a few stitches like that and maybe a few more um, stitches in between do the other petals and I think that works really well. We'll do a little bit more work on this area but um, yeah I really I really do think that it's a great exercise to grab two totally different fabrics and try and just make them meld and see what you can come up with. Look at that. That's really quite quite pretty all together isn't it? But we haven't finished. I've done a black outline on the black, taking that outside the edge of the black flower at the top. I've done some orange. And now we'll just do a little bit more and see what we can come up with here. So what made me decide to do this as a three-part, and believe me, I could go onwards if I if I chose is that this is a wonderful exercise for um, trying to do all different kinds of techniques. It can take it, it can take all that extra stitch and it is so therapeutic to just go with the flow and see what the material suggests and, and just go with it. So I've grabbed a dark colour again, I think I've got a black here. And I'm just doing a little line, um, you know, of pretend petals, the edge of pretend petals down through that orange. So we put a little bit of the orange up through the black and a tiny bit of black down through the orange. And just, that's, it just helps it all blend. Can you see there? Well, it's a little bit abstract, but it's very effective, I think. So at this stage, I'm thinking to the, the other color that was in this black and green flower is a sort of a green, a dark green. So I thought I might just add a little bit of that in as well. And with just the simplest of stitches, just running stitch basically, or just a few just plain stitches, we're getting those colors in. And blending it. I want the whole thing to end up looking like a single piece of cloth that you know was designed like this and you know that's the exercise that we're working on.
Yeah, so just a few um, green kind of outlines of petals. You might notice that when I cut that um, that black flower out of that original tablecloth kind of material, that it was uh, I didn't have all of the petals, so I've I've just sewn them in with running stitch. Um, now I've picked up a gold, a goldy yellow, and I've sort of thought, okay, let's let's just accentuate where it's got that golden center. And I'm doing some simple um, French knots. But what I'm also doing, and here you'll have a closer look, here we go, is instead of um, going straight down in, like you bring the needle up, you go around the, your needle three or four or five times with your thread and then back down again. Well, instead of going straight back down close to where I came up, I'm going further away. And you can see here, I'm not going there, I'm going up. And as I go up, what happens is that I leave a little stem underneath my French knot. And that way, it's looking like little stamens. And that is so effective in that. Might continue down and do a few more. But you can see what we started with and, and how it ended up. And, you know, I, that's why I think these kind of things can just be added to and added to and added to. And you're just, um, you know, it's so transportable. You could pick this up, a few threads, a needle and some snips. And you've got it with you in your bag for whenever you've got a few you know, a spare half hour, or a spare 10 minutes on the bus or something, you can just go ahead and do some stitching. It's like art on the go. I've picked up a yellow, um, similar to the white, it's, it's a very silky shiny thread and I'm just doing the tips of the petals a little bit in that yellow and bringing it down a little bit into the black just to blend that in as i said sometimes that looked a bit um, blunt that black where it was cut and i didn't have the tips of the petals so i've i've just done those petals in okay let's go on here i have a vague leaf shape and i've decided to go around sort of uh, using long stitch and just sort of pick out the edge of that and then to continue it across and uh, pick out a shape here which is actually some eco dyeing and um, yeah just blend the two together okay so now we've got a flower and I'm just I've got some teal colored thread and I'm I've done this in the past, you may not have seen the previous video, but I've got a white flower with an outline, but you can hardly see it against the um, very beige background. So just doing some simple seed stitch makes those white petals show up. I've picked a, a lighter colour of the teal now, and I'm just going to blend that into one of the other squares and, and bring it down pick some other areas out so that I want to blend into the background and then back up into that seed stitch. And here I'm going to try a little bit of chain stitch and do a few fronds, you know, like ferns or something. Anyway, I'll give you a good look in a moment, but I'm just saying you can really uh, use your imagination, just see where it wants to take you. So you can see I've added in a few yellow buttons onto that orange and that's helped to break it up a little bit, break up that expanse of orange and really I think I am pretty happy. I don't like that that black center of that flower just stops halfway so I'll probably put something there maybe a button 
some things I'm not too happy with that leaf I can't really even see it it just probably needs a darker color over there a few things and then uh, we'll see where we are so sometimes I like to just if I haven't liked something I try something else and then I maybe try something else on top of it and it can get quite messy but uh, here I I try a few different things anyway it's all a learning process I add in a few more kind of leaf shapes into that space but it's still in the end it's still I'm still not very happy but that's okay I can come back to it later but let's have a look here I've added a button into the center of that flower that's made me happier with that you see here I've added in some white and some green on that flower and spread it out over top of the others really it it's hard to say where some of the squares started and finished here I'm just looking to see I'll probably in the end pop some little beads in and they could be here around the flower or in the center or just spread out somewhere else where I like them really this fabric has suggested so many things to me and I've enjoyed I've really enjoyed playing with it and I hope you've enjoyed watching along and that you try some of these techniques for yourself but the use of the seed stitch was really good and the uh, the blending I really did enjoy that black flower and that white one no it's all looking quite quite good there's plenty more I could do you know I could go on forever but that's the beauty of it you can just keep playing so I'd like to thank you for watching and if you've liked it do press like and subscribe to my channel to watch whatever else I come up with and um, thank you so much for your time